Have you ever noticed that certain people enter our lives at critical moments? It feels like they were sent on purpose to deliver a message or help us solve a problem. Have you ever experienced a sensation of deja vu when meeting someone, as if you had already met them in an undefined past? In this video, we will explore the idea that people don't come into our lives by chance, but for a specific reason. So make yourself comfortable and stay till the end because what you will hear will deeply impact you. But first, please subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and share the video. This way, you'll help us produce new valuable content every day for your spiritual growth. Gather round, and let us share with you a tale that'll make you see the world through a different lens. You know, we've been around the block a few times, seen our fair share of life's twists and turns, and we've come to realize something profound. So, let's dive into this story, shall we? Picture this, a young woman named Sarah, fresh out of college, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, ready to take on the world. She lands her dream job at a prestigious firm, and she's over the moon. But here's the kicker, her boss, let's call him Mr. Thompson, is a real piece of work. Tough as nails, demanding, and seemingly impossible to please. Now, Sarah's struggling, day in and day out, feeling like she's drowning in a sea of expectations. She's ready to throw in the towel, thinking she's not cut out for this. But hold on, because this is where it gets interesting. One day, Sarah's grabbing a coffee, and she bumps into Janet, a senior colleague. Janet sees the defeat in Sarah's eyes and takes her under her wing. She shares her own experiences, teaches Sarah the ropes, and becomes her mentor. Meanwhile, Mr. Thompson keeps pushing Sarah to her limits. It's frustrating, it's exhausting, but something unexpected starts to happen. Sarah begins to grow, to adapt, to become stronger and more resilient. Now, let's fast forward a couple of years. Sarah's thriving in her career, and she realizes something profound. Mr. Thompson, as difficult as he was, played a crucial role in her growth. He was the challenge she needed to overcome, the obstacle that made her stronger. And Janet? She was the support, the guiding light when Sarah needed it most. Two very different people, both instrumental in Sarah's journey. But here's where it gets really interesting. Sarah meets a client, let's call him David. They only work together for a short project, but David's passion for his work reignites Sarah's own enthusiasm for her career. He's like a spark that reignites her fire. Now, think about your own life for a moment. We bet you can identify your own Mr. Thompson's, Janet's, and David's, can't you? Those people who challenged you, supported you, or inspired you, even if just for a brief moment. You see, that's the beauty of it all. Every person who enters our life has a purpose, a lesson to teach, a role to play. Some are there to test us, to push us beyond our limits. Others are there to nurture us, to help us grow. And some, well, they're just there to remind us of who we are and what we're capable of. It's like a grand tapestry, you know? Each person is a thread, weaving in and out of our lives creating this beautiful, complex pattern. Some threads are bold and prominent, others are subtle and delicate, but each one contributes to the overall masterpiece. Next time, when you're facing a challenging person or situation, pause for a moment. Ask yourself, what's the lesson here? What's this experience trying to teach me? Because there's always a lesson if you're willing to look for it. And those people who lift you up, who support you unconditionally, treasure them. They're the ones who'll be there through thick and thin, the constants in your ever-changing universe. But don't discount those brief encounters either. Sometimes, a single conversation with a stranger can shift your perspective in ways you never imagined. It's like a pebble thrown into a pond. The ripples can reach far beyond what you'd expect. So, 
Here's what we want you to do. Tonight, before you go to bed, think about the people in your life. The ones who challenge you, the ones who support you, and the ones who inspire you. Take a moment to appreciate the role each of them plays in your journey. Because at the end of the day, we're all connected in this grand adventure we call life. Every interaction, every relationship, every encounter is an opportunity for growth, for learning, for becoming a better version of ourselves. And remember, just as others play a role in your story, you're playing a role in theirs too. So be kind, be present, be authentic. You never know how your words or actions might impact someone else's journey. As you go about your day tomorrow, keep your eyes and heart open. Appreciate the Mr. Thompsons who challenge you, the Janets who support you, and the Davids who inspire you. Because each of them, in their own unique way, is helping to shape the incredible person you're becoming. And that is the beautiful dance of life. It's not always easy, it's not always comfortable, but it's always, always worth it. So dance on, embrace every step, every stumble, every triumph. Because that's what makes your journey uniquely yours. Gather round, and let us share with you a tale that'll make you see the world through a different lens. You know, we've been around the block a few times, seen our fair share of life's twists and turns, and we've come to realize something profound. So, let's dive into this story, shall we? Picture this, a young woman named Sarah, fresh out of college, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, ready to take on the world. She lands her dream job at a prestigious firm, and she's over the moon. But here's the kicker, her boss, let's call him Mr. Thompson, is a real piece of work. Tough as nails, demanding, and seemingly impossible to please. Now, Sarah's struggling, day in and day out, feeling like she's drowning in a sea of expectations. She's ready to throw in the towel, thinking she's not cut out for this. But hold on, because this is where it gets interesting. One day, Sarah's grabbing a coffee, and she bumps into Janet, a senior colleague. Janet sees the defeat in Sarah's eyes and takes her under her wing. She shares her own experiences, teaches Sarah the ropes, and becomes her mentor. Meanwhile, Mr. Thompson keeps pushing Sarah to her limits. It's frustrating, it's exhausting, but something unexpected starts to happen. Sarah begins to grow, to adapt, to become stronger and more resilient. Now, let's fast forward a couple of years. Sarah's thriving in her career, and she realizes something profound. Mr. Thompson, as difficult as he was, played a crucial role in her growth. He was the challenge she needed to overcome, the obstacle that made her stronger. And Janet? She was the support, the guiding light when Sarah needed it most. Two very different people, both instrumental in Sarah's journey. But here's where it gets really interesting. Sarah meets a client, let's call him David. They only work together for a short project, but David's passion for his work reignites Sarah's own enthusiasm for her career. He's like a spark that reignites her fire. Now, think about your own life for a moment. We bet you can identify your own Mr. Thompson's, Janet's, and David's, can't you? Those people who challenged you, supported you, or inspired you, even if just for a brief moment. You see, that's the beauty of it all. Every person who enters our life has a purpose, a lesson to teach, a role to play. Some are there to test us, to push us beyond our limits. Others are there to nurture us, to help us grow. And some, well, they're just there to remind us of who we are and what we're capable of. It's like a grand tapestry, you know? Each person is a thread, weaving in and out of our lives, creating this beautiful, complex pattern. Some threads are bold and prominent, others are subtle and delicate, but each one contributes to the overall masterpiece. Next time, when you're facing a challenging person or situation, pause for a moment. 
Ask yourself, what's the lesson here? What's this experience trying to teach me? Because there's always a lesson if you're willing to look for it. And those people who lift you up, who support you unconditionally, treasure them. They're the ones who'll be there through thick and thin, the constants in your ever-changing universe. But don't discount those brief encounters either. Sometimes, a single conversation with a stranger can shift your perspective in ways you never imagined. It's like a pebble thrown into a pond. The ripples can reach far beyond what you'd expect. So, here's what we want you to do. Tonight, before you go to bed, think about the people in your life. The ones who challenge you, the ones who support you, and the ones who inspire you. Take a moment to appreciate the role each of them plays in your journey. Because at the end of the day, we're all connected in this grand adventure we call life. Every interaction, every relationship, every encounter is an opportunity for growth, for learning, for becoming a better version of ourselves. And remember, just as others play a role in your story, you're playing a role in theirs too. So be kind, be present, be authentic. You never know how your words or actions might impact someone else's journey. As you go about your day tomorrow, keep your eyes and heart open. Appreciate the Mr. Thompsons who challenge you, the Janets who support you, and the Davids who inspire you. Because each of them, in their own unique way, is helping to shape the incredible person you're becoming. And that is the beautiful dance of life. It's not always easy, it's not always comfortable, but it's always, always worth it. So dance on, embrace every step, every stumble, every triumph. Because that's what makes your journey uniquely yours. Let's embark on a journey together, a journey through the intricate web of life. You see, life isn't just a series of random events. It's a tapestry of destinies, each thread woven with purpose. Every encounter we have, whether fleeting or lasting, adds to the fabric of our existence. Imagine walking through life as if it were a vast garden. Every person we meet is a unique flower, each with its own beauty and lesson to offer. Some encounters might be brief, like the scent of a passing bloom, while others linger, like a tree providing shade on a hot day. Yet, each one is essential, contributing to the garden's diversity and richness. Now, let's talk about the gifts hidden within our experiences. Life, in its mysterious ways, often wraps lessons in the most unexpected packages. Sometimes, what appears as a challenge or a setback is, in fact, a lesson in disguise. It's as if the universe is whispering to us, urging us to grow and evolve. Gratitude and mindfulness, these are the keys to unlocking the lessons life offers. When we approach each interaction with an open heart and a grateful mind, we begin to see the hidden gifts within. We learn to appreciate not just the joyful moments, but also the struggles that shape us into who we are meant to be. Consider the people who come into our lives. Some are like the sun, warming us with their presence, while others are like the moon, guiding us through the darkness. Their presence may be temporary, serving specific purposes or needs, but their impact can be profound. True wisdom lies in being open to these encounters. It's about recognizing that every person we meet is a teacher, every experience a lesson. When we embrace this mindset, we open ourselves to spiritual fulfillment and personal growth. During challenging times, the universe often sends us exactly what we need. It might be a friend offering a kind word or a stranger lending a helping hand. These moments are not mere coincidences. They are the universe's way of providing courage and support. Every encounter, every relationship, is like a note in the grand symphony of life. Each note, whether harmonious or discordant, contributes to the melody of human connections. Together, they create a beautiful, complex composition that is uniquely ours. Now, let me share a Zen story with you. Once, 
A monk saw a butterfly struggling to emerge from its cocoon. Wanting to help, he gently cut the cocoon open. The butterfly emerged, but its wings were weak and it couldn't fly. By intervening, the monk had deprived the butterfly of the struggle necessary for it to gain strength. This story teaches us the consequences of helping without being asked. Even when our intentions are good, unsolicited help can have negative repercussions. It can deprive others of the opportunity to learn and grow from their challenges. Suffering, though difficult, is a necessary part of spiritual growth and personal development. It is through overcoming adversity that we build resilience and strength. By intervening without being asked, we risk upsetting the balance of another person's karma and potentially harming our own. The concept of karma reminds us that every action has consequences. When we help without being asked, we may unintentionally interfere with the lessons others are meant to learn. It's a delicate balance, one that requires discernment and wisdom. The wisdom of waiting for someone to ask for help is a lesson in itself. It teaches us patience and humility, reminding us that we are not always the saviors we think we are. Sometimes, the greatest gift we can offer is the space for others to navigate their own path. As we conclude this journey, let us remember to discern when to offer help and when to step back. Let us be mindful of the lessons hidden in destiny and embrace the intricate web of life with gratitude and openness. For it is in this dance of encounters that we find true wisdom and fulfillment. Now, let's delve into a tale as old as time itself. Picture, if you will, the grand tapestry of life, woven with threads of countless individual journeys. Each of us, in our own unique vessel, navigates the ever-flowing river of existence. It's a beautiful sight, isn't it? The ebb and flow, the twists and turns, each ripple telling a story of triumph and tribulation. Now, let's ponder for a moment on the nature of suffering. Oh, how we often wish to shield our loved ones from its cruel grasp. But here's a truth that might shake you to your core. Suffering, my friends, is not always the enemy we perceive it to be. In fact, it can be the very catalyst for our spiritual growth and personal development. Imagine a butterfly, struggling to emerge from its cocoon. Would we be doing it a favor by cutting open that cocoon? No, for it is through that very struggle that it gains the strength to fly. Consider this scenario. We see a friend grappling with a challenge, and our heart swells with a desire to help. We rush in, arms outstretched, ready to solve their problem. But wait. Have we paused to consider the consequences of our well-intentioned actions? By intervening without being asked, we might inadvertently rob them of a precious opportunity to learn, to grow, to become stronger. It's a sobering thought, isn't it? Let us share with you the tale of Shun and Masu, two dear friends whose relationship was tested by unsolicited help. Shun, seeing Masu struggle with a difficult project, decided to complete it for him in secret. When Masu discovered this, instead of gratitude, he felt robbed of his chance to prove himself. The resentment that followed strained their friendship, creating a rift that took years to mend. This story serves as a poignant reminder of how our actions, no matter how well-intentioned, can have unforeseen consequences. Now, let's delve into the concept of karma. We've all heard of it, but have we truly grasped its profound implications? Every action we take, every decision we make, sends ripples through the fabric of the universe. These ripples, my friends, inevitably find their way back to us. It's a cosmic dance of cause and effect, a delicate balance that governs our existence. When we help without being asked, we're not just affecting our own karma. We're potentially disrupting the karmic journey of another. It's like reaching into the intricate workings of a clock and moving a gear, thinking we're helping it run smoother. But what if that gear was exactly where it needed to be? What if its position, 
which seemed problematic to us, was crucial for the clock's overall function. Let's turn our attention to the wisdom of Buddha. He taught us the importance of waiting for someone to ask for help before we intervene. It's a teaching that resonates deeply with the Stoic philosophy. By waiting, we respect the other person's journey, their free will, and their right to face their own challenges. It's an act of profound respect and trust in the natural order of things. Imagine, if you will, throwing a stone into a still pond. The ripples spread outward, affecting not just the immediate area but the entire surface of the water. Our actions are much like that stone. When we help without being asked, we create ripples that affect not only the person we're trying to help but ourselves and others in ways we might not foresee. This brings us to a crucial point, the importance of discernment. We must learn to distinguish between situations that truly require our immediate intervention and those where it's wiser to step back and allow others to navigate their own path. It's not always an easy distinction to make, but it's a skill we can cultivate through mindfulness and self-reflection. As we near the end of our tale, let's remind ourselves that each person's challenges are part of their own karmic journey. Who are we to interfere with the grand design of the universe? Each struggle, each obstacle, each moment of suffering might be a crucial step in someone's path to enlightenment or personal growth. The consequences of helping others without being asked can be far-reaching and complex. While our intentions may be pure, we must be mindful of the potential ripple effects of our actions. Unsolicited help can create unintended karmic consequences for both the helper and the recipient, disrupting the delicate balance of personal growth and spiritual development. Let's not forget that suffering, as uncomfortable as it may be, is often a necessary part of an individual's learning process. It's through overcoming challenges that we grow stronger, wiser, and more resilient. By rushing in to help without being asked, we might be depriving someone of a valuable life lesson. Remember the wisdom of Buddha, who taught us to wait for someone to ask for help before intervening. This teaching aligns beautifully with Stoic philosophy, emphasizing the importance of respecting each individual's journey and free will. It's a reminder that sometimes, the most helpful thing we can do is to simply be present and supportive, ready to assist when asked. As we conclude our exploration of this profound topic, Let's carry with us the image of the stone thrown into the pond. Every action we take creates ripples that affect not only those around us but ourselves as well. May we approach each situation with mindfulness, discernment, and respect for the individual journeys of those around us. And may we remember that help when given should be a conscious gesture, not an impulsive act. In doing so, we honor both our own path and the paths of others in this grand interconnected tapestry of life. Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and lush forests, there lived a young woman named Alara. She was known for her gentle spirit and insatiable curiosity about the world around her. Despite her peaceful surroundings, Alara often felt a deep yearning for something more a sense of purpose and understanding that seemed just out of reach. One crisp autumn morning, as the leaves painted the village in hues of gold and crimson, Ilara decided to embark on a journey to the ancient monastery perched atop the nearby mountain. It was said that the monks there possessed profound wisdom and insight into the mysteries of life. Ilara hoped that by visiting them, she might find answers to the questions that had long stirred her soul. As she set out on her journey, Ilara encountered a weary traveler named Kale, who was resting by the side of the road. His clothes were tattered, and his eyes held a depth of experience that intrigued her. Sensing a kindred spirit, Ilara offered him some bread and water, and they began to talk. Kale shared tales of his travels, speaking of distant lands and the lessons he had learned along the way. Ilara found herself captivated by Kale's stories, and as they walked together, she realized that his presence was no mere coincidence. 
Kale spoke of the importance of embracing the present moment and finding beauty in the ordinary, a lesson that resonated deeply with Alara. She began to see her surroundings with new eyes, appreciating the simple joys she had often overlooked. As they continued their journey, Ilara and Kale came across a bustling marketplace in a nearby town. There, they met a wise old woman named Mira, who was renowned for her herbal remedies and healing touch. Mira sensed Alara's quest for understanding and invited her to spend some time learning about the healing properties of nature. Under Myra's guidance, Ilara discovered the interconnectedness of all living things. She learned to listen to the whispers of the wind, the songs of the birds, and the rustle of leaves, finding solace and wisdom in the natural world. Mira taught her that true healing begins within and that by nurturing her own spirit, she could better serve others. With each step of her journey, Ilara encountered individuals who seemed to appear just when she needed them most. There was the jovial blacksmith who taught her the value of hard work and perseverance, the gentle shepherd who showed her the importance of patience and compassion, and the spirited children who reminded her of the joy of play and imagination. Each encounter left an indelible mark on Alara's heart, guiding her toward a deeper understanding of herself and her place in the world. She realized that these people were not random strangers but were sent to her by the universe, each playing a vital role in her spiritual growth. Finally, after many weeks of travel, Ilara reached the monastery. The monks welcomed her with open arms, and she spent several months in their company, meditating, reflecting, and absorbing their teachings. She learned that spiritual growth is a lifelong journey, one that requires openness, humility, and a willingness to learn from every experience. When it was time to return to her village, Ilara felt a profound sense of peace and fulfillment. She understood that the people she had met along the way were not mere chance encounters, but were part of a greater design, each contributing to her journey of self-discovery and spiritual awakening. As Alara walked back through the familiar paths of her village, she carried with her the wisdom and love she had gathered from those she had met. She knew that her journey was far from over, but she was ready to embrace whatever came next, confident in the knowledge that every person she encountered would be a teacher, a guide, and a cherished part of her life's tapestry. And so, Alara lived her life with an open heart, ever grateful for the people who crossed her path knowing that they were not there by chance but were gifts from the universe, sent to help her grow and flourish in ways she had never imagined. We understand that human connections are intricate tapestries woven with threads of experiences, emotions, and growth. Let's delve into this profound concept together, shall we? Imagine we're sitting in a cozy room, having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about life's ebb and flow. Now picture this. Our lives are like a grand theater, with people entering and exiting the stage at various moments. Some stay for the entire performance, while others make brief yet impactful appearances. Isn't it fascinating how each person who crosses our path leaves an indelible mark on our journey? We've all experienced those moments when life seems to throw us curveballs, leaving us feeling overwhelmed and uncertain. It's during these times that we often encounter individuals who seem to appear out of nowhere, offering a helping hand or a word of encouragement. They're like beacons of light in our darkest hours, guiding us towards strength and resilience. But here's the thing, and listen closely because this is important, not everyone who enters our lives is meant to stay forever. Some people are temporary passengers on our journey, serving a specific purpose or teaching us valuable lessons before moving on. And that's perfectly okay. Now, let's talk about those individuals we might label as toxic or difficult. It's easy to point fingers and cast blame, isn't it? But as psychologists, we encourage a more nuanced approach. Before we distance ourselves from someone, it's crucial to step back and try to understand their behavior. What drives them? What pain or insecurity might be fueling their actions? Of course, this doesn't mean we should tolerate harmful behavior. 
We need to be vigilant and recognize the signs of toxicity, constant manipulation, lack of empathy, a tendency to create conflict, or an overwhelming need for control. These are red flags we shouldn't ignore. But here's where it gets interesting. Have you ever heard the story of Buddha and the angry merchant? It's a beautiful tale that illustrates the power of non-reactivity and forgiveness. The Buddha, when faced with insults and aggression, simply smiled and refused to accept the negativity. His response? If someone offers you a gift and you decline to accept it, to whom does the gift belong? This brings us to a crucial point, forgiveness. Now, we're not talking about a mere external act of pardoning someone. No, we're referring to a profound internal process of liberation. When we forgive, we're not condoning the action. We're freeing ourselves from the burden of resentment and anger. And let's not forget about self-forgiveness. How often do we beat ourselves up over past mistakes or perceived shortcomings? It's time to let go of that guilt and shame. Remember, we're all works in progress, learning and growing with each experience. Forgiveness, both of others and ourselves, is a powerful tool for promoting awareness and personal growth. It allows us to see beyond the surface, to understand the complex tapestry of human behavior and motivations. As we navigate this journey called life, let's approach each encounter with an open heart and mind. Every person we meet, every situation we face, holds the potential for growth and self-discovery. It's up to us to recognize these opportunities and embrace them wholeheartedly. So the next time you find yourself facing a challenging person or situation, take a deep breath. Remember that this, too, is part of your journey. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can this experience help me grow? In the end, it's not about the number of people who stay in our lives, but the quality of the connections we forge and the lessons we learn along the way. Each encounter, whether fleeting or lasting, contributes to the beautiful, complex mosaic of our personal growth and self-discovery. And isn't that what life is all about? Growing, learning, and becoming the best versions of ourselves? So let's embrace each moment, each person, each lesson with gratitude and openness. After all, in this grand theater of life, we're all both actors and audience, learning from each other's performances and contributing to the magnificent story unfolding before us. As we draw our exploration to a close, let's take a moment to reflect on the profound tapestry of connections we've uncovered together. We've journeyed through stories, lessons, and insights that all point to one fundamental truth. The people in our lives are not mere coincidences, but rather carefully orchestrated encounters designed to shape our growth and understanding. Remember the tale of the struggling artist who found inspiration in a chance meeting with a stranger? Or the story of two childhood friends reunited decades later, just when they needed each other most? These aren't random occurrences, my friends. They're the universe's way of guiding us, teaching us, and sometimes challenging us to become the best versions of ourselves. We've learned that every person who crosses our path, be it for a fleeting moment or a lifetime, carries a lesson, a purpose, a reason for being there. That grumpy neighbor who tests our patience? They're teaching us compassion. The mentor who pushes us beyond our comfort zone? They're unlocking our hidden potential. Even those who hurt us serve a purpose, showing us our own strength and resilience. But here's the real magic. Once we start recognizing these purposeful connections, we begin to see the world differently. We become more open, more receptive to the lessons life is constantly offering us. We start to understand that there are no ordinary moments, no insignificant encounters. So, as you leave this video and step back into your world, I challenge you to look at the people around you with fresh eyes. Ask yourself, what is this person here to teach me? How can this relationship help me grow? What can I offer in return? Remember, 
We're all on this journey together, each of us playing our part in each other's stories. Some will be main characters, others will have cameo roles, but all are essential to the plot of your life. And who knows? Maybe you're the person someone else has been waiting for. Perhaps your kindness, your wisdom, or even your challenges are exactly what someone else needs to take the next step in their journey. So let's embrace each connection, each interaction, with gratitude and curiosity. Let's be open to the lessons, the growth, and the beautiful synchronicities that life has in store for us. Because when we truly understand that people don't enter our lives by chance, we unlock a world of endless possibilities and profound personal evolution. As you go forward from here, carry this knowledge with you. Let it inspire you to be present, to be purposeful, and to be grateful for every soul that touches your life. For in the grand design of the universe, you are exactly where you need to be, surrounded by exactly the right people to help you become who you're meant to be. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. Until next time, keep your heart open, your mind curious, and your spirit ready for the beautiful connections waiting just around the corner. Remember, in the story of your life, there are no extras, only co-stars, each playing their perfect part in your magnificent adventure.